I know some of you might be on the cusp of just saying, you know what, I've had enough of this, I'm out of here. Take this job and shove it. I'm not keeping bees anymore. I mean, you can have those attitudes and I understand that, boy, have I not said that before, you know? <laughs> Good to be with you again. I'm David Burns, EAS Certified Master Beekeeper. I'm here today to tell you when you should not stop keeping bees, when you should stay in the saddle and keep going. All right, let's go. Number one, I think you should not stop keeping bees just because you haven't had the success that you wanted. It takes a while to learn beekeeping. I'm gonna take a kind of a step here and say it's gonna take you about five years to kind of get a handle on what in the world you're doing. It does take some time. So don't just throw in the towel just because you're sort of new one, two, three, four years and you keep getting frustrated and keep, you know, not having success that you want. Don't give up, stay with it, keep learning. That's the main thing. And number two, you should not stop keeping bees just because you can't figure it out. Instead, figure it out. And I don't mean it that way, but look at it as a fun time to learn. Like, what is it that I'm missing? What is it that I need to know more about bees? How do I change my lifestyle where I include maybe a half hour a day or an hour a day of reading some good stuff, watching some cool videos, uh, taking a beekeeping course online where I can really learn the ins and outs of bees because if I learn more, I'll, I can be a better beekeeper. Just don't give up because you feel like you don't have enough knowledge. Just get the knowledge that you need to be more successful. Number three, and this is especially true of new beginners, don't give up because you didn't get the amount of honey that you wanted. New beginners aren't gonna get much that first year, generally speaking, because bees spend a lot of time turning incoming nectar into wax for their colony construction. Be patient, it's gonna take you some time. It's gonna take the bees building up into that second, third year to really have the honey production that you want. So be patient, don't stop beekeeping, just because you didn't get all the honey that you wanted. It will come. Next, don't quit beekeeping just because you've had some losses. We all have losses. Oh, do you see those geese up there? Isn't that so pretty? Wow, might be too bright, but that was great. I had to try it. <laughs> I tell you, Illinois is just crazy how beautiful it is. We have some hot summer days. We have some very cold winter days. Wow, but Illinois is just beautiful in an evening like this. So don't give up just because you feel like I'm having too many winter losses. Yeah, winters are hard on bees, I guess, and some of the reasons it varies, but just maybe it's okay if you say, okay, I'm gonna keep bees because I know it's a good idea to help everything around me get pollinated. And if I lose them in the winter, I'm gonna roll up my sleeves and I'm gonna start again. I'm not gonna quit just, I'm not gonna let winter kick my butt and kick me out of the beekeeping uh, hobby. I'm gonna stay in there. So don't give up just because you've had some losses. And lastly, don't give up because you keep getting frustrated or you feel like you're too old or you don't uh, have the dexterity of uh, your fingers or your arms to inspect your colonies and all. You know, don't give up for that reason. Hang in there a little bit. Don't get so frustrated that you feel like, oh, I, I just not very good at this anymore. What you need to do is calm down and do as much as you can, even if you have to back off a little bit. You know, if you're lifting up these heavy deeps or these supers, maybe you're, you have some arthritis, maybe you've got some back pain, uh, maybe you're getting old enough now where that's a lot heavier than it used to be, <laughs> like I feel. Um, you just got to figure out a way to make it happen, even though you may not have such a youthful approach to it anymore. It's okay to be aging or dealing with some physical uh, difficulties and still say, I'm still going to keep bees. I, I love it and I can just find another way to get by with this. Maybe you don't inspect them as often. That's okay. If that's all you can do, it's all you can do. Don't quit because of limitations. Find a way to meet those limitations 
and just adapt your lifestyle so that you can keep bees and really enjoy it. Hey, I hope this has been helpful for you. I really would like to see you subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. It's good talking with you guys. I love you guys. You guys are great. Your comments are really encouraging me a lot. And sometimes in my life, I need a pick me up comment just like you might. So I really do want you to know I appreciate all the kind comments. All right, I'll see you next time.